Hey there everyone, GameFox here, and welcome to a game called Valley. This is a game I've been really excited for for quite a while, actually. Um, I don't remember where I first saw it or where I first heard of it, I think I just saw it on Steam. Um, but it reminds me so much of uh, a story about my uncle. It looks like you took a story about my uncle and Fallout and threw them together. And if anybody has been on the channel for a while, they know that a story about my uncle is one of my all-time favorite games that I've played. So let's just go ahead and hop right into a brand new game. Um, I only popped in for a sec just so I can get my resolution settings right, but uh, we'll go ahead and start a brand new one. I am really excited. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. This is a really I mean, great exposition already. The, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Pretty slim. <laughs> Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but... Can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack This must be or set like Spend way back in the day. Them. But hey, Let's check out that old computer and stuff. find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. <laughs> I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. I love the Indiana Jones reference. Oh, I'm excited. I don't even know what the game is like. All I know is that you're basically, like your brother said, an archaeologist, and you're looking for something called the Life Seed. And if I remember right, the Life Seed is supposed to be like some sort of power source, or it's supposed to help. Like, it's basically the idea of immortality or something like that. We'll find out more about it as the game goes on. Oh, I like this a lot already. <laughs> Remote region. Useless discount canoeing lessons. Oh, cool. So it looks like there's not really going to be too many vocals in this. Let me, uh, let me muck with the controls a bit and I'll be right back. I just gotta, I had to kind of up the sensitivity on looking around a little bit. So let's take a peek and see what we got going on. Um, I really like the textures. Now I'm actually running this on a slightly ruins cave drawings. Oh, this over here. Where the hell am I? What was I saying? And now the graphics actually seem pretty good, um, considering that I have this on uh, medium instead of high, um, but my computer was actually having trouble, you know, interacting with the game with high quality, which is weird. Uh, let's see, let's, looks like we can run, so you use left trigger to run. Oh, look at how cool that looks. Can I jump at all? I don't know, I don't think so. Not until later, I think. Oh, but look at, look at, you can see like individual leaves and everything, it's fun. Okay, now it wants to give us the tutorial. So, left trigger to run. Look at how pretty this is. I wish I could go in there. You're obviously on a very linear path at the moment, so that's cool. One of the things I'm really excited for is that you're supposed to gain uh, a suit, a, something called a leaf suit, I think. Oh, this is great. This is absolutely what I wanted. I've been looking for a game for a while that kind of captures the same explorative short story element that a story about my uncle did. And I feel like there's a lot. Oh, would you look at that. I love really, you know, story driven games. Something that actually seems like it has a bit of a point to it. Uh, survival games are fun, and I know I play a lot of Seven Days on Twitch, and and RPG games are good too, but they can be a little bit involved. Valley. Oh, look at that! That's so cool! Oh, I'm in love with this already. I hope I hope that this turns out to be as good as I hope it's, it's gonna be. That was kind of redundant. What is this? Can I touch it? Oh, they get brighter when I stand up next to it. I hear, like, children singing. Do I interact with this tree in any way? I don't think so. Oh, this is wonderful audio. Oh, that's kind of creepy. What's over here? So it looks like there used to be some sort of civilization here. What is this? Are these creatures? Oh my gosh, look at these things! 
What the hell are you? What is this place? How hard did I hit my head? Whoa. This is awesome. I don't know. I don't know when any actual story begins. So the control suit, there is a jump option. I'm assuming I just can't use it yet. Whoa. An old army truck. Must have crashed here ages ago. Oh yes, this is it. This is the thing I was looking forward to. Pick up the leaf suit. Looks like a mechanical suit. Ah, this is great. Come on, get it working, pendulum. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. As a Pathfinder, you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed leaf suit as our hardworking scientists at Pendulum develop Yeah, this is where it kind of made me think Fallout. Troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the leaf suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Leaping high into the air! Look at how kind of archaic Sprinting it looks, though. as quickly as a cheetah! Even manipulating life and death itself are part of the many stunts accomplished by the leaf suit. <laughs> manipulating life and death itself. In addition to these marvelous wonders, an audio reel recorder built directly into the suit allows a pathfinder to conveniently listen to important intelligence hands-free during training exercises. Okay. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit, as our scientists continue looking for new ways to improve the fearsome might of the Look at how cool that looks. It's got like luck and safe journey panther paws or something. This amazing new technology. That is epic. Cool. Leaf suit, huh? Press A to jump. Okay, so the leaf suit is like you took long fall boots let's see what the are on these old radio tracks Virginia yeah okay King. audio journal june 4th 1941 shortly this is after great. the outbreak of war in europe i was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley i pick up any of these other ones the mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here cargo manifest a large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley just past the ruins where the life seed rumored to possess an earth-shattering power was found that's as good a place as any to okay so there are quests the life seed actually exists cool oh i'm falling so the the cargo manifest said it had one leaf suit 20 of these audio clips and then like three crates of documents are they still in here yeah it looks like it Oh, but okay, so I was saying that this is kind of like portal longfall boots mixed with uh, a story about my uncle's grappling device. Oh, this is so epic. Note from Virginia King, October 15th, 1944. The Northeast dig site is providing a number of clues towards stone cutting techniques of the ancient inhabitants. The pathfinders assigned to exploring the site have uncovered a wide variety of tools that may have been used. With any luck, we can attempt to reproduce the methodology. Awesome. Access tunnel. Looks like they had some sort of cave in. Oh, hey, check this out. So here's a Pathfinder in a leaf suit. Does this kind of show me? Search for the life seed near the dig site. Okay. Let's go check it out. It's a northeast dig site. At least it's pretty self explanatory. Oh, nice. Oh, this game has a great sense of scale. What's this say? I, don't, I can't get in here at all, though, can I? Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. Okay. So, like this. Dude, that's so cool! Oh, yeah, let's do that again. Come on. Oh, this has such great music, too. What's this do? Very Celtic-inspired. I am blown away. I did not think that this was going to be... I did not think this was going to live up to my expectations at all. 
And it is so worth it. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a waypoint on screen. That's awesome. All right, what do we got here? Got another... He's showing us kind of another thing we got to do. So we'll just keep running downhill. Three, two, one. Fushoosh! <laughs> oh, imagine this kind of game in VR! Oh, how cool would that be? Okay, we got another one coming up. Energy stored within the leaf suit known as Amrita can be given once to living things. Okay, press right trigger to shoot energy towards dead trees or animals. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> How cool is that? Is there a dead animal? Yeah, there's a dead animal. Let's try that. Oh, we brought a little deer back to life. Hello. Run, frolic, be free. Oh, this is awesome. Am I supposed to go up the cliff or down this uh, slope here? I'm going to assume up the cliff. Pathfinder access only. Leaf suits must be worn. Oh, but who would want to take one off? Probably somebody who has really bad knees, actually. Oh, so that's what the blue lights are. The blue lights are Amrita and they actually give you the energy back. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. I'm like, I'm almost speechless at how cool this is. Okay, I want to get to the objective, and then we'll probably move on from there. Oh, this makes me feel like a freaking superhero. Oh, we found another deer! Hello, deer! I wonder if there's more to explore. Life can also be taken from nearby living things, rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to replenish your suit. Less robust life forms, such as blades of grass, provide no value. Okay. Oh, so I can take it away. What if I... Oh, so if I need more Emrita, if I need more energy, then I can just take it away. I have a feeling this is going to become a... Oh, God, no. A moral dilemma at some point. Okay, so here we are. We've come to... I assume this might be the dig site. Quest updated. Cool. Find a way through the ancient ruins. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Got it. What's this over here? I don't know. Let's try giving life. Whoa, check that out. Seems like fireflies react to energy. Very cool. All right, so what happens if I... Okay, so nothing there. That's interesting, though. calls this valley Area 634, but I've ascribed a new word for it, Sussurus. What does that mean? That word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sussurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long, that they predate any known civilization on the continent, they seem to have the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? That's a good question. I love this already. Okay, so all we know so far is that why to open crates. Oh, cool. So we might find some more stuff here in there. Ah, energy upgrades. So that means that we can actually find energy upgrade status. Cool! So that means that we can actually find more capsules to give us more energy. Nice. Note from a Pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. That's awesome. Here's another crate. Sweet, we got another energy canister. 
so where am I supposed to go anyway? What am I supposed to be looking for? Obviously the life seed, but... Ah, here's another tree. Ah! I'm so excited. Oh, here's one here, too. Am I supposed to be doing this for... Okay, there's one more I'm looking for. Let's head through here. I have a feeling it's going to be up where the other one was. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders as they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. Yeah, no kidding. I would not want civilians piloting these. All right, pick up medallion. These medallions are said to be used to access ancient, an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Okay. And collect enough acorns to gain access through ancient doorways. Gotcha. So there's a lot more to this than I initially thought. I thought that this was going to be just as simple as a story about my uncle. And it, it, it obviously is not. I'm happy about that. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. So I take it that's where I'm supposed to go. I wonder if there's anything else around here, though, that I should be looking for. Ah, yeah, I'm glad I did. Check this out. We've got... Oh, no, 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 no. Jump down. We've got another... Two more acorns. And another medallion and an acorn. Sweet. All right. Three, two, one. Probably should have gone that way. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Quest updated. All right, so we made our way through the ruins, and I think we're going to call that good for today. This has already blown my mind. I can't wait to get into more of it. It is absolutely amazing. If you're interested in it so far, it's normally $20 on Steam. Right now it is on sale for $5.99 um, with the Thanksgiving sale or the Black Friday sale. I think that goes until the end of the weekend. So if you check this out uh, <clears throat> as of... November 26th. I really hope you get it. This is awesome so far. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like. I'd certainly appreciate it because it lets me know how I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. And other than that, you guys take luck and care and have a wonderful day.